This lash came on. Look, it's, it's still acting crazy. I mean, they, the lashes are sisters. I mean, they cousins. Sometimes they're not sisters. Like, I don't even know if my girls is getting along today. But, baby, sure they, they do. Here. I love things what's for good, love. Day? Yo, what's goody? Ollie, what's good? Don't forget to share the love. Share the live, okay? We got the livest audience in Instagram's history right here on Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. So make sure you are dropping these comments. Make sure you are letting people know where you are tuning in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at Schnoon, baby. It's the Black Man's Morning. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to boost these subscriptions up. We want our subscribers to go up. So make sure you are going to our YouTube page, checking out all of the past episodes. Season one is unmatched by any morning show. I don't care. Name them. Point them out, baby. We killing them, okay? And season two is getting bigger and better. Lady yep. Luck, yeah. who you wearing? What you wearing? Bad Bunny, shout out to who? Let us know. Anybody y'all want to give some love to? Well, yeah, uh, I just went and got tatted up. Um, So I got ISIS on the back of my neck. It's a two-part session, so we just did the outline. I got my mother name right here. That's who I'm wearing. I got my sister name right here. That's who I'm wearing. So shout out to them. Shout out to Hair by Sasha. Yes, definitely. Definitely Hair by Sasha. Yes, oh, hair by shout Sasha. out to Silk Hair by Sasha. Yes, girl. Out of these, these good throw-ons. These things have really, these things have really helped me out. You know, mm -hmm. when you be it's running good. late. So not for nothing. Not for nothing. You got a lot of wigs that you still got to do shit to. Real shit. You gotta, um, you gotta fucking mousse the shit, put spray curl and flat iron and warm your shit. But these things right here are so perfect. It's like, oh my god, I'm running late. I only got 15 minutes. I don't got time to flat iron. Bam. That's right. So make sure go. everyone check out Silk Hair by Sasha, and it one of good, our official sponsors. Nothing. You got a lot of braid wigs that look crazy, right? Crazy, crazy. These look good, and I've, I get a lot of compliments on it. They'd be like, oh my God, I love your hair. I'd be like, shh. <laughs> and the color looks really good against that beautiful melanated skin. It's definitely a good color for you. Keep those badges coming. Yes, we love the support. Help us to create and keep building the platform that is Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're there, show some love to Queen of the Ring. This is the first female battle rap platform created by yours truly, Miss Babs Bunny, the first lady of the streets. So make sure you are subscribing as you on YouTube supporting Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. And don't forget to check out Lucky Enterprises, Lucky T, Lucky CBT, Lucky CBD, Lucky Crowns, Lucky Sounds. Everything's lucky with an I because I feel lucky when I support my friends. So make sure y'all do the same. Hit that link in her bio. And then we, if you have time and a little money left, <laughs> go to mistressandnose.com where you could get this sweatsuit, this hat. We have so much more mugs, bags, you name it. Enter the code BEC and you will save some bacon, egg, and cheese. When That's Ralph gets in the movie. building, make sure y'all let him let us know so luck can bring him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's a cute hoodie. Thank you. It's a whole, it's a whole sweatsuit. And the legs say bless. Yeah. Don't quit, baby. Not today. No, we got Shout out to eight, eight, uh, eight, one, one, six for the love. Uh, shout out to Bring the Beach. Bring the Beach is throwing the money at niggas. Shout out to Shorty Doo-Wop. 
Emilio Free, uh, uh, um, how do I help him? Emilio Sparks, the young, young guns. Well, well, Emilio. <laughs> Emilio, Emilio is it Tiffany Emilio? No, yeah, yeah, that's a, a, a video fury. Shout out Emilio Free Fury. We we support and we love and shout out to Phoebe. I see her comment is pinned. Make Phoebe. sure y'all get them on. Keep saying this until my uh my lips fall off. Pause. Make hey. sure y'all are checking out the bacon, egg, and cheese channel on YouTube. We want these subscribers to go up. Like, comment, and share if you care. Now, as we are waiting for our uh, celebrity legendary guest, Mr. Ralph McDaniel. Ooh, you know what? Hey. Yo, we Ralph McDaniels. That me tell you, boy, pull up. Let's run through some topics while we're ready. I got that's music. right. That's right. Let's get it. So before we get into any hot topics, let's just get into something that we want to just talk about briefly. Nick Cannon, he also has a morning show, most known for like he's a comedian, a mogul, while and now creator but he also has a morning show he has the nick cannon morning show it comes on right after the wendy williams experience he announced yesterday that his youngest son uh zen actually passed away from brain cancer they said that the baby he thought the baby just had the big nick cannon head this is what he said not me i'm not throwing no to no shade he said he thought the baby just had a regular nick cannon head it's in their dna but then he said he noticed that it, it was uh, the baby was kind of um mucusy and, and it had like a, was breathing differently so when they went to go check it out they actually noticed that there was a tumor on the baby's brain and he described his last moments with his son he was very transparent about it he actually made the whole episode about his healing so i'm gonna we're gonna go to the video and then we'll go to the divas super sad sorry for the volume come on volume Thank you, out there. For the last time. But it was still, it was a beautiful setting to, and even to spend that whole day, it was interesting because even as I was holding my still, I was still preparing my day as it normally went to come back. And, you know, come here and see, I didn't know what it was going to be, but I just, but even by the time I got in the car and was headed to the airport, I had to turn around. So, yes, we want to send our prayers, our condolences, our love to Nick Cannon. That's so strong of him to return to work. It's very um, commendable for him to push through and, and, and to have people come on and help him with his grieving. Ladies, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, yeah. First off, uh, shout out F A F H Loop of the building. Uh, music is absolutely fire. Um, you know, my heart goes out to Nick Cannon and his family. You know, to lose a child at any age, you know, is definitely traumatizing. But especially somebody who's so young and didn't even get a chance to experience life. So, um, you know, my family and, and all of us here at the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese Show, you're on our prayers, Nick, and we love you. And you're an incredible person, man. And it took a lot of strength to share that with the world. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. What up, Chate? My condolences to the whole family of Nick Cannon, to the mother of the child. You know, us women, we carry our children. When we have our children in our belly, we nervous. We hoping that our children make it. Every time we get a sonogram, we hoping that we hear the baby heartbeat. Then, bam, you make it. The baby's here. You're so happy because that stress of, oh, my God, is my child going to make it? And then, you know, to go through what they're going through right now, it's just heart, it's heartbreaking. And I want to send my condolences to Nick, uh, but very much so the mother of the son. My condolences to her and praying for the whole family. Definitely. Yeah. So sad. Um, something else that is so sad, and this person is kind of acting like a baby right now. So uh, we saw a video. This was happening as we were on our break where a video leaked with uh, Stevie J exposing Faith Evans for allegedly cheating on him. So now the two of them are having, uh, they're going through a divorce, and Faith Evans had to ask the court to deny Stevie J's request for spousal support. Now, sadly, they're saying there may not have been a, a prenup in order, so he might have to pay. How do y'all feel about a man asking for spousal support? If it was in reverse, would we still have the same energy? Do y'all feel like he's being um, 
uh, childish? Do you feel like he's deserving of this? Or should he just uh, pick up his stuff and keep it pushing? Man, listen. This shit is a mess. That's some bird shit. But I'm going to say this. If you pick up bird shit and bring it home, then you know... You, you, what, what are you gonna get? And and shout out to CBJ. I'm not trying to say CBJ is bird shit. I'm just saying, in yeah. general, in general, you know what I mean? It's like, come on now. But you know, not for nothing, if you got a man and you taking care of him and you provided a certain type of lifestyle, I do believe that they deserve the same treatment as a woman. Yeah. You know, if you, it, it, so if you say, I don't want to be with him no more, yes. Cause you treated him like a you woman. got him a, a you got him right. yeah you got him you you treated him as such so I believe that if that's the case then yes bitch come up off that bread like why why what's the difference first of all uh, respectfully okay Phoebe say that shit if you go cheat on your nigga first of all we don't even know if she really cheated. That's, that's the first thing. It's accusations, and we all know that Stevie is out of his mind. So that's first off. We don't even really know if it's true or not. But second of all, I remember my cousin. Is he in here? I hope he's not in here. My, <laughs> my cousin, he was telling me that, you know, because his wife got a job, a good job, and they was getting the divorce, and he told me that he was going to file for uh, spousal support. And I thought it was the most disgusting thing I have ever heard. Now, and I, I, am, a, I am a woman. And I date women, you know, so I, I hold men to a different team. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm what they would call a, a classifier as a lesbian. I don't claim. But what I'm saying is men are normally the providers. Men clearly make more money than women, whether they're on their jobs. I'm pretty sure Stevie J got more money, like if they do a reality show or something like that. But to know that you want what you've done, you know, uh, uh, what you want to get uh, Faith money because Faith is still out here getting it back. First of all, you both played yourselves, okay? Biggie is in heaven laughing at you niggas, okay? You should have never married this nigga. Y'all was all on Bad Boy together. You see the Bad Boy mess happening, Babs? Y'all should have never messed with each other to begin with. I never liked it, okay? I even put it in my rhyme, okay? I never liked it. <laughs> Okay. I agree. I actually interviewed Stevie J, and you can go to my website after the show and check that out. And I asked him about that. I said, "Were you scheming on her when you was in um, Bad Boy? Like, how do you feel like Biggie feels? And if you want to know what he said, you can check that out. I'm not going to throw him under the bus. But yes, I do agree. Like, sometimes when you make your bed, you have to lay in it. But I feel like Faith should have protected herself. She already helped him. I don't feel like she should do any more support because she helped him so much with his child support. So it's like, I just feel like, you know, if Stevie being who he is, he knows how to, you know, bring more people onto the bus. I feel like he should take this situation and maximize it, maybe create another show where we watch him, you know, build his life back up. Or, you know, maybe he could do a show like Flavor Flav and For the Love of Stevie and then people try to that get, you know, fun, yeah. get with him or something. But I don't feel like he should be trying to take any money from young CJ or Faith's baby girl, who I can't remember her name. She got children. a grown-ass man, okay? And at the end of the day, if you bring a man in your life, and you and he, you like, yo, baby, I got you. It's a lot of chicks out here that feel like they the boss, they the alpha, they get in the bag. And so at the end of the day, they like, yeah, I got you. You don't got to worry about nothing. I'm not stressing that you owe money. I'm not stressing that you owe child support. I'm not stressing that your credit is bad. I got you. <laughs> so guess what? If you step into it like that, then you got to know. If the relationship is over, you still going to have to carry him on your shoulder for a little while. She ain't going to have to pay it for me. But yeah, it's, it's for a little while. Faith, come up off that bag, okay? Come up off that bag. She said as soon as you get she home, she's going to make it up to you. You got to make it up, Faith. You got to make pulled it up. Him out the, you pulled him out the studio. He couldn't make any more beats. He was trying to make hits. You was jealous. You thought he was dealing with the women he was doing music with. And then you told him he couldn't go to the studio no more. And you ain't need none of that music money. You got him. She's now open. look. Now look. Now speaking of... <laughs> I, you thought they was going to have you, but they didn't. We talked about this last episode, and it got a little heated because we all had a difference of opinion. So the plumber who found the money slash checks in the wall 
at uh, Joel Osteen's mega church is now saying that he's upset because no one reached out to him about his good deed. He said he went to church and everything, and Joel Osteen didn't even tell him thank you. And now he's feeling like, hmm, if only if I would have took that money and helped my family, because he thought he would have gotten a, a, a award or some kind of acknowledgement. And Joel Osteen is paying him in dirt. How do y'all feel about this? You snooze, you lose. We've been learning this, okay? We talked about this, I think, last night or whenever we talked about it. You snooze, you lose. Everybody who be out in the streets like, oh, I found half a million dollars. Let me give it back. Fuck that, okay? I remember my man Billy J was saying that he was praying that something good like that happens to him. I'm telling you, and I hope the Lord, you know, uh, forgives me, or maybe it's the Lord's blessing. You know what I'm Hello? saying? Like, if I'm doing work in the church and I say, wait a minute, here go half a million dollars. Hallelujah. You get what I'm saying? Or oh, I don't know if I'm going to give the whole bag. I don't know what I'm going to do. So you know what I mean? I mean, per that last episode, you was acting like Mother Teresa. I know. You was like, I'm you was give giving the bag. whole thing back. I don't want that karma. And then they give you 20 rats. But they ain't have to give you nothing, love. They ain't have to give you nothing. Be grateful for the 20,000. Who nothing. are you to say how much percentage of that money you should get? I told you to keep it all, but you wanted to be nice and give it back. And so you got 20 racks, I need five of that. He didn't even get 20 racks, but he got nothing. Nah, he, they gave him some money. No, they, they gave him some money? He said he didn't get nothing. He said he not even get an acknowledgement. He didn't get anything. That's oh. why he's so upset. Oh, I thought they gave that man 20 mm -mm, racks. They gave him a blessing, and now he home stressing. They said, don't worry, God wants him. Well, y'all got to play Joel to act like he only treat bad, black people bad. He treat, <laughs> he treat you crackers bad, too. That's crazy. Oh, man, shout out to your Osteen. I probably went in the game. Let me tell you something. If you find that much amount of bread in my wall and give it back to me, I ain't giving you shit either because you's a dumb motherfucker. My you baby stupid. <laughs> and you ain't going to know what to do with that money. I'm going a, I'm to a donate it to somebody who really going to know what to do with it and deserve it. You don't deserve it because you stupid. Why you even give me this money back? What's wrong with you? Speaking of giving back, Erica Mena had to give her face back to her, to her, to her, to her, to her, to herself because she accused someone of wearing um, uh, stolen belongings from her property. And now she had to issue an apology because she's saying, I'm sorry, I was wrong. The girl did not uh, know that she was wearing my stolen property. The girl wasn't wearing my stolen property. So now she had to, she's a renegger. So now she had to renege that statement. She had to bring it back. How do y'all feel about her? not speaking without having all of the facts like how do y'all feel about that her do you feel like this woman should uh sue her for defamation of character yes just like i'm gonna sue phoebe for not going on a date with me when she told me we was gonna go on a date just like i'm gonna sue phoebe ass when we was on the phone on three-way and i said bitch i'm gonna call you and then she said call me and she didn't answer the phone so i am filing a lawsuit against phoebe it's the three-way for me <laughs> Fucking with you. Now, uh, 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 what was the question? It's Lady Luck motherfucking birthday. You know what I'm talking about? We still celebrate Lady Luck birthday. We turned up. You know what I'm saying? Hey. The question was, hey. how you know what I'm talking about? We don't talk about yesterday, my motherfucking birthday. I'm turned 40 years old. You know what I'm talking about? 40 <laughs> game, 40 game. You Yo, already Phoebe, know. They, Phoebe, they gonna serve you them papers. I'm like, you promised luck a date? It's on, nigga. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? Yeah. Well, let's go to Bunny. Let's go to Bunny. Babs, how do you feel about this situation with Erica Mena? Do you feel like the woman that she accused of wearing her stolen belongings and that oh, yeah, she was wrong, should she sue her for defamation of character? Yes. I don't know about suing, you know, because she apologized. I think that maybe, you know, she should invite her over to the crib and, you know, have a chef cook and you know feed shorty you know what i mean I roll up, up some bud let her chill for the day go live with shorty. Nah. Yeah, did you see the article me. did you see what she wrote and about go, but go but listen apologize on live while you she act like, like don't get money, money. Like, that, that little stripper bitch was getting money yep, but but it's a, i understand but things happen and we gotta be able no. to imagine me imagine me saying bass bunny came to my house and she stole this and stole that nigga you ain't here for that shit. she gonna call her cousin it ain't gonna be none of that let me tell you though 
depending on the situation and who it is, and if they did that to me, yes, I would be mad. I'd be like, bitch, you a liar, blah, blah, blah. But once she confessed and said, you know what, I was wrong, and she hit me up directly and was like, you know what, I was wrong. I apologize. I'm going to be a woman of my word. Actually, let me book you a flight. Come out here. What I don't you even like know to eat? Erica Minna. I do. I Erica, holler at me. I do. I do. Say you stole my shit and say I stole <laughs> shit and then book me a flight. I want to hang out with you, Erica. I don't want to hang out with Erica and Safari, okay? I don't want to hang out. With, tell you the truth, I don't want to hang out with nobody. I hate everybody. I'm going to stay in my motherfucking house. I'm telling you, I'm locking the doors. I'm turning my phone off. I don't want to hang out with nobody. Am I crazy? Is the world <laughs> I guess we'll never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> people are stressful. Yo, you are hilarious. And everyone, don't forget, share the live. Share the love. Oh, happy birthday, happy ladies. Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday. Let me tell y'all something. All it takes is a personal phone call. You got to, you know, be accountable for your wrongs. If you call me and you could stand up for your wrongs, you could express to me how sorry you are. You could cry to me. Show you, show me how sorry you are. Drop a tear or two. And then we can move forward. Because I'm not Lady Luck. You see, she's not going to accept your apology. You, you see, she's just going to be like, yeah, 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 whatever. It's not happening. But me... You need a gig? You need it again? Listen. Okay. I'ma still be mad if you get me snow crabs. I need king crabs. King crabs. That bitch expensive. Snow <laughs> Yo, crab legs. Like crab legs? I'ma eat, I'm eat them exactly. shits, but we ain't speaking after I leave. King crab legs, we can speak after I leave. We still be cool and shit. <laughs> Funny, let me ask a question. I'm sorry, Miss Lisa. You know, it's my birthday. No, no, been... I'm just going to step away because it's mad noisy. I'm just going to close a no, window. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. So, back, let me ask you a question. So, let's say Erica Min Minna, she said, you know what, Babs? Fuck you. You stole my shit. And Babs like, no, I didn't. And then she come back months later and said, Babs, I'm sorry. Come over to the crib. And she's trying to cook these king crab legs. And it's only you and Erica there. And she got on some shit. Oh, <laughs> Y'all <Yeah, it's> silly. <laughs> what you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do, buddy? <laughs> I'ma be step mommy. You already know the vibe. Shout out to Safari. You know, but he don't be home more. Yes, you know, oh. I come home every night. Yo, I it's, come it's home no. every night. No matter what. I'm even if the sun is up when I'm coming home. I'm still coming home. Right. Um, and, and I mean, <laughs> and while we, I'm sorry. And, and, while, and while we're here, you know, I ain't gonna write it. Bitch, you know, it's my birthday too, yesterday. I ain't gonna go be a groupie and write it, but shout out Nicki Minaj, happy birthday. They need rappers like me. Okay, so happy. Look at, we like, uh, it's, it's okay. We love you, Nicki. Right? Shout out to Nicki. Like he said, that other girl. Nikki. The Shout other out. girl, when she was talking about the other girl, you the other girl. So she, y'all love each other. You know, y'all y'all always showing love to each other. No, I know, I know, but she didn't tell me happy birthday yesterday, so I'm not gonna tell she her. She probably was. You, you know, they need what like going me. on. She See, got Erica Papa. Minna, Erica Minna would have said happy birthday. This is what I'm talking about. And I could get me some, you know, pollo, pollo, whatever yay. You just some yay yay. Rose con pollo. Rose con pollo. Rose con pollo. You know what I'm talking about? Hey. <laughs> I, I go to the Puerto Rican Day Parade and everything with you, boo. I ain't listen. I ain't going to. That whole crazy, though, you forgot how she was acting when she was with Sin. And the thing, I saw Sin, too. Now, the crazy part was we was up at the Latin magazine. I forgot the name of it is. And I was with the ex bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, and we saw Erica Mena. Erica Mena was looking good. And then they start hooking up. And I was like, look at Joe Buttons' exes just loving each other. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Joe Buttons, OK? That's well, speaking right. of domestic violence, um. There is a video. Hmm? Speaking <laughs> of domestic violence, your segues be crazy. <laughs> the video got taken down. Dang. It was a video that was going around on the internet of a man who had a black eye from his girlfriend. And he was on live and people was on live telling him, like, you need to leave her. You need to get out of this situation. And I just wanted to highlight it because we're always talking about the other side of domestic violence of, you know, men putting their hands on women. But there are a lot of men who are being abused 
physically by their spouses, their girlfriends, their baby mothers, their, their women that they're living with because they can't go anywhere else to live. And they're taking this abuse. So I just wanted to shine a light on that, but the video got taken down, probably got uh, reported because his eye was swollen so crazy. Like if it was a woman, it would have got taken down. So it's only right that for a man, for his own protection, that is taken down. Have you guys ever had a friend yes, or somebody? Yes, yes, me, me, domestic violence. Yes, me, nigga, what? me, me. I was in a domestic violence relationship. The bitch grabbed the wheel. It was two different girls, but she grabbed the wheel of the car while we was driving. I used to lock myself in the other bedroom because she would get so drunk. I didn't know she was going to stab me the night before. She was very domestically violent. My mother came upstairs one time and wanted to fight her. Keep your hands off my daughter. Ask my mother. Okay, I got footage of the bitch. Okay, not she was footage. crazy. Yeah, I got footage. The bitch was crazy. So then that my new shorty I'm talking to, she, you know, she she had punched me in the side one morning because I had said something that she thought was inappropriate. And I turned around and said, Keep your motherfucking hands off me. And she said, I didn't hit you hard. I said, bitch, that's how it starts. It starts off light. That's it true. Starts off. And then when you get pissed off, you got comfortable with them light punches. That's true. Listen, nigga, I didn't been in some domestic violence because you know, lesbians, they think we could square off. The girls that's fight. True. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hold up. Nero said he done been beat up by some bitches. You they definitely said that there's a higher rate of domestic violence when it comes to same-sex relationships because you looking at like, I'll fuck this bitch up. Or the man looking like, I'll take his ass, beat his no. ass. Babs, how do you Tell feel? Have you ever or girl, had any friends girl, in a violent girl, situation? I had two different girls grab the wheel of the car when I was driving. One time I crashed, okay? And then the next time I had caught the wheel and I was terrified the whole way home. Shut up, my nigga Nero. Yo. Get money. Shut up, Shut up Nero. What up, what up, what up? Nero, a bitch, a, a bitch was beating your ass? What happened? You ain't got to say it like that, though. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I've been, <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, uh, my ex is in my, in my days, right? I female who... Hold the steering wheel on a park this is the city thing. bridge. She Where? pulled the steering wheel and uh, on the on the bridge, Parsippany, uh, around in Jersey in area, Jersey area. Yo, no matter of mm -hmm. fact, it's a Pulaski. Son, she pulled the steering wheel, and when I went to like address the situation, she told me I pulled it on my side. So we we're gonna crash, we we're gonna crash on my side. That was her excuse. Now, now listen, nobody get offended by this question, please. Was she Spanish? Exactly. <laughs> no. She black. <coughs> See, she black. What y'all doing? Was she Spanish? Oh, we joking. Yeah, All yeah women exactly. Wow, All out. Women no black. matter what it's, race it's, it is. I know, nah, but them Spanish women be extra spicy. Muy caliente, yeah, mommy. Yo, black girls be extra you. spicy, too. Word is you gone, ain't get to, I talk. Look. Now, look, look. My, my wife, my wife to be now, 13 years, is Dominican. She ain't no near a Dominican type of situation. All my Dominican dudes, they be like, yo. Dominican type of situation? Please elaborate. What you just, what you just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what, I that's love what this. Dominican. I love yeah. this show. My wife, Dominic, my, my wife is Dominican. And all my Dominican dudes, they be like, yo, she ain't Dominican, man. She don't act like it. Because my wife don't want no travel. She don't want no beef. She just want peace. You know what I mean? She all about peace. I don't even argue with my wife at all. That's what I need in my life. That's, what I, that's how I am. My wife and I don't argue. So, like, <laughs> but this, my, my, my ex. Said, AKA, she black. <laughs> <laughs> you know she hates him. No, but the, the last girl who was black and grabbed the wheel of the car, you know. Yo. How, did you stay with her after that? Because my dumb ass stayed with both of the bitches after they tried to kill me. Did Nigga, you when I when I kicked her out the car, I went home, my dumb ass went back to go pick her up. My nigga, my, I, I the bitch crashed. <laughs> if my she car. had good box, just say that. Yo, 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 the bitch crashed my car. <laughs> I get arrested I a, because I'm I I, I, my license suspended, and then when they release me from jail, I go to the hospital to see if she's okay. My Lexus is still on Route 21. See, that's that bullshit. That's that bullshit. And I know where Route 21 at. Tell the people where they can find you, man, because you you are super talented. Not only do you do music, you do graphics and all kind of stuff. I still owe you some money. Tell the people where they can find you. 
<laughs> it's stupid, yo. Yo, you can find me online. I'm everywhere online, you know what I mean? Hit, you hit that little button up there. You can see my at name. You say who's who's on the live. That's me right there. Neil Olape. I'm from West Africa. Like, Liberia. I was raised like in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, like Africa. Africa. He know the vibe. He was yeah. raised in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, he Brooklyn all day. He the vibe. Hell yeah, bad. That you know, fight, was that girl from Brooklyn that pulled the steering wheel? No, she from Jersey City. I knew you was going to say that shit. I knew you was going to say that shit. I knew you was going to say that shit. I knew it. I'm just saying. Get the fuck you know, off my live, nigga. Yo, hang up on this thing. Hang up on this thing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm from Brooklyn, and I ain't pulling no steering wheel because no. I want to survive. But I key, I key the shit out your car, though. That's I will key the shit. I will, flat, I will slice them tires. I'll put, put some salt. You put, already know. I'll put some salt on your ignition or something. Yes, you already know. You will come it's, out sitting on I, so, You will be sitting on metal no, it's definitely me. Sure. I've never I done call, anything like I that. I call my homies that had them strip your shit. You will come outside or you Yo. shit out. The, the, the seats and everything out your car. I'm not Yo, pulling I, the steering wheel. For what? I'm trying the, to get home. I call the police. I call the police on this chick. Police coming to the crib, escort her out the crib. My and my dumb ass picking up the phone when she calls the same day. I'm sorry. My and nigga, I'm like, oh. the bitch who grabbed the wheel of the car <laughs> in the crib fighting. She asked naked. The police come there. I'm pretty sure they had a good time. <laughs> <They're ble> <laughs> She's in there bleeding, and the cops is like two two bitches in the crib arguing. She's like, get her the fuck out of here. She ass naked, titties looking good, ass looking good. Okay, I, she's been missed. Okay, listen, let's get out of here. She's been missed. She's stupid, yo. That's what you're stupid. Like. Yo. <laughs> you started. Stop drinking this week. Yo. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of a, a crazy uh, relationship. Wait, wait, wait. Zero, you going to stay with us for what topic? I'm vibe. I'm vibe. I'm vibe. I'm vibe. I'm here. Fine ass motherfucker. You look rich. Like you look like an African king. Go you ahead. Better calm down for his Dominican African. wife. Get Dominican. African Brooklyn. Bitch, I'm gay. I'm the same type of nigga. But he like. <laughs> wait, wait. But according to your story yesterday on your live, we don't know how straight that baby is. I mean, how you might be a little straight. You might be. What are you talking about? See this? I sorry, nothing. Oh. What is happening here? That's what I want to know. You don't know what you were saying yesterday? Oh, I was talking about when I when I tried to be straight. Baby. I had a ball on my eye. Funniest story ever. <laughs> I had a ball on my eye. I tried to be straight. And I was looking She's for the gooch. I didn't looking find the gooch. it. I didn't find you it. You, you couldn't find the gooch. You couldn't she find the gooch. She was looking for the gooch. Damn, she said life is gucci. <laughs> I came back to women. I ran back. Bitches, I'm back. <laughs> oh, man. She couldn't find the gooch, man. Do you so, like wait, wait, wait. Do you like your gooch taken care of? I'm a guy. Who, what guy don't? Well, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What's I'm, a gooch? I, 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 That's I'm the little piece that. between the between <laughs> the, the private wait, area and the white house. Yeah, 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 yeah. You talking about that line, that line. Yeah, that line. line. That line down there. Yeah, of course. Find the line. I couldn't, 100%. I couldn't find that the line. line. Yeah, of course, 100%. So your Do Dominican wife, she know how to walk the line. I walk the line. She crosses you know, the line, baby. She's a habitual yeah, line no. crosser. Thirteen years, man. Thirteen years, bitch. I'm in love. I love this show. Do you like for your wife to sit in the um, bathroom with you as you're taking a shower? Of course, even when I'm shitting. Okay, so there's a young lady who shared this video on Instagram, and she said, my boyfriend won't let me leave the bathroom while he's showering. When I showed you the video, a lot of people were saying, girl, he's just trying to keep you away from his cell phone as he's in the shower. Let's take a look. Damn. My boyfriend won't let me leave the bathroom while he showers. Hey, where you at? Hey. Yes, babe. Can you come to please? I just want your company. I'm almost out the shower. I'm ready to burn. Right he a burn. Right, he, he made oh. Let me tell you something. You might have a little ass fucking shower. shower. Go ahead. You have a little ass shower. He mad with it. If, if your shit is big enough, you can put your phone up so we Word. won't get I'll, wet. Okay? Paul, I was going, I was going to say something about that. Talk to me, bunny. So you, do, do you think that maybe he's just being romantic, bunny, and he just wants right. his girl in the in the bathroom? 
No, let me tell you something. I, my, but I have a shelf no. in my shower. And I told, I was on the phone with y'all earlier today in the shower. Niggas don't know. I have a shelf up there. I put my phone up there. It is good. And sometimes if you're really good, I might put it on the, the uh, what's that, the caddy hanger, whatever it's called. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ain't going to see nothing. But if you're in the bathroom, if I want you in the bathroom while I'm in the shower, get in the shower. Work. Work. Okay. 100%. Get in the um, shower. Sir, I'm going to yeah. throw the question yeah. to you as a man. On the panel today, who like you feel, stupid. huh? <laughs> you stupid as fuck, yo. <laughs> Do you feel question? like he's just being romantic and just wants nah. his girl around him, or just a deterrence from keeping from the cell phone? I don't know what he keeping her away from, but that shit's suspect. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like I don't. That shit don't look like it's it's out of love. You know what I mean? When I'm dealing, with one, I'm dealing with you. If you got my attention, I'm dealing with you. So I'm not worried about my cell phone. Like I purposely Fact. do it. Like I'm messing with somebody, I leave my phone purposely in the room to let you know. Like nah, ain't you no know saying, ain't nothing going on because I've been ignoring them for two weeks, so they already know not to hit me. You know what I'm saying? So like when I'm dealing with somebody, <laughs> like yo, God, <laughs> they said that at me already, so don't even trip. Like here, Boy. you know what I'm saying? Like they See, already hurt my... me out last week, so my phone could stay with you, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you come in, you know, if you, I'm going to tell you to come in the bathroom and chill with me, the phone is good. My wife got my password. Oh, you got, got it on password. Do Not Disturb, right? No, I don't That's do that. right. You suppose, y'all supposed to. If you're you know not I mean? hiding nothing, then I don't understand what the issue is. Like, yeah, exactly. God forbid something happened to somebody, somebody needs to be able to get into your cell phone, into your accounts, into all of your shit. Hit if y'all real, if y'all serious like that, exactly. You know what I mean? There you go. At, exactly. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, we ain't sharing uh, passwords through our phones. I can't go on your phone if I need to look through something. Not to look through like your contacts or your text messages. Just in general, like this times that my wife need my phone because she's doing something on her phone and it deals with something she wants to do on my phone. Man, that's website. cute. That's cute. I was dealing with a crazy bitch, and I said, <laughs> I said like that. I said, you know what, bitch? I'm not cheating on you. As a matter of fact, here's the passwords to everything. To the point where I would take pictures in her phone because it was better. You know, this is the same crazy bitch grab the wheel. And I'm like, yo, you know what? Boom. You have the password. It backfired. Anytime I like something, now the host see it. Anytime anybody's... It, people flirt with me. I look good. Don't you Don't you know I look good? That's why you with me? And she would get mad. This bitch flirting with you. Well, I cannot control but see, her, bitch. Exactly. But that's the insecurities. You know what I mean? I, I, and my wife already know the deal. Any um, female that's on this panel right now, all females that's on this panel and that's listening, and, and in the comments, check this out. If your man liking pictures, you shouldn't be mad, my personal opinion. Would you want him to like dudes' pictures? You got to understand. You want him to like our pictures, but, I mean, go for it. He could like your pictures, too. What, he yeah, that's like it. like your pictures? Yeah. Now just don't, just don't, don't ignore my pictures. Let, like mine first, okay? Of and course. then, you, you know, do your thing. Like, I'm, a, I'm, yo, a, I'm a very yo, trusting person. I don't want to be with somebody I can't trust. I'm probably going to be liking the bitch. The same bitch is picking you. Let's go. Like Let's go. Like, come on. I'm going to be like them, too. You know what I'm talking right. about? Yo, it was, one, it was only one girl. It was only one girl who called me out on the phone <laughs> one time. It was one girl I was talking to. At one point in time, I, I had been a serial dater. Since I broke up, I ain't gonna lie to you. I done had over like 300 bitches on my phone since 2018. Some of them I might talk to one time, some of them four times, some of them. I'm telling you, the bitch be like, look, fly me out. Never calling her again. I am a serial data. I'm telling you right now. But I, I'm not jealous. I don't yeah. be jealous. I See, don't. That's the problem. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't ask questions. I don't get mad. You go like a picture, go like a picture. You, 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 you wanna do this, you wanna do it. So one bitch called me out on it. She said, you know why you do that? Because you want to do what you want to do. She was like, you don't ask questions because you don't want nobody to ask you questions. You don't get jealous because you don't want nobody to get jealous. I said, God damn, this bitch is genius. That's me. I'm like, I don't want to, don't, don't God, ask me so many questions. I don't, I'm, I'm not answering, I don't want to ask. Like, I'm not getting like, jealous. I'm not, ahead. I'm like, baby, Word. go ahead, baby. What? You like that picture? Go like that picture. Because when it's time for me to go like that picture, don't you dare. Okay, you better match my energy. You feel me? Fact. Well, let me ask you this, Lux, right? What? So say you got Bullshit. a girlfriend. Say you got a girlfriend, right? Uh -huh. And let's just say, what's right. her name that the girl Mimi Chill out. messed it's with? Only... What the fuck you L doing? Lissa, Lissa, what's Mimi's girlfriend <laughs> name? 
Girl, um, the Ty, 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 Ty,
No, no, I'm just kidding. Yo, I, yo, what time is this over? Because I, I don't know how. It's, it's over in a couple of minutes. I right, Nero, yes. but shout out to your I'm wife. Here. I'm here. I'm here all day. Okay, I love you. See, that's the kind of real nigga. See, I'm going I'm to tell you too because I know what happened. But what was the question that y'all wanted? Don't to worry. We're going to move on. It was just about Bad. police brutality Bad. and a man no, that no, got... No, no, no. Answer that question. Bad. Answer, answer that question. Oh, they want you to answer the question. Yeah, the question. Yeah. Ask me. I'm not... I asked you, would you feel the way if your girlfriend, no, no your woman, no. no, you wouldn't? No. And why Baby. not? Let me tell you something. One day I'm laying in the bed with the bitch, right? Why and not? Why <laughs> not? Yo, stupid, I ain't yo. shit. You, that's what you want me to tell you. I ain't shit. I'm doing the same thing. I ain't shit. I'm doing the same thing. I'm guilty. Guilty by association. I'm sorry. I if believe you liking her. a nigga she, pictures nine times out of nine. Ten she's times been saying out of ten, that. She said I'm that more than once. I, I believe her. She I definitely believe her. I, I definitely that. believe her. If you over here liking the nigga picture, but just don't let me know. I don't want to know if you plan me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you over there liking that nigga that picture. The question but that I, I have you. a question. Go, ahead. Have... Go off. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Miss Lizzie, wait. She said that's not a question. What is your fucking question then, buddy? Uh, we gonna be done with that. Go ahead, Miss Lissa. Next, no, next I, do, I just want to go into this question a little bit because uh, uh, anyone who is familiar with past episodes, Lady Luck has shared that she doesn't like, like, if you like a picture of her, like, she said she started um, posting uh, people of transgender, uh, you know, uh, yeah. because people were Everything, following and liking, let me she didn't like something. that. So Everything how come on my page is mine. I don't care. Like, yo, it was this other rapper bitch. I'm flirting with K-Goddess, and the other bitch started rapping. With, no, we ain't got 10 minutes, nigga. This is Lady Luck page. Instagram, let's go. Son, no. No. But you see what I'm saying, right? So how come you had a problem with that, but you saying that you don't have a problem with Wait, your girl? Everything on my page is mine. There's a difference. Now, you you, you guys are you guys are mashing it up. This is a hog posh right now. This is a gumbo. Clear right? up for us. Thank you. Right, it's a gumbo right now. Hold up. Sm smorgasbord. Now, listen. Now, if you mine and we are laying in the bed together, if you liking somebody else's pictures and you, you know what I'm saying, cool. Just understand, I'm going to like somebody else's pictures. Too. And we might like the same pictures together, and it might lead to a good time. That's what I'm into. I'm here for a good time. Now, anybody outside of my home, if you come on my page and you see, I got nothing but bad bitches on my page. Look at my last birthday post. There's nothing but baddies, tens, tens. Praise God. Happy birthday, beautiful. I, I love you too, bitch. So you don't come on my page responding to them. Like, oh, hey, no, 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 no. Go on your page and go follow your fours and fives. Don't come on my page. Anything that I don't give a fuck if I never met the bitch in life. She's mine what? right now on this page. Fact. She's mine. Am I, am I fucking? Your home. So you have you selective not? jealousy. What? That's not enough selective jealousy, my nigga. Like, like, wait, wait, what? That, that's, that's, that's coming in her house trying to dictate what she's doing. You don't come in my house telling me what I can't do in my house. That's exactly, my saying. nigga. <laughs> Go you Go, thank you for clearing it up. Both of you helped me to figure it out. I, I understand. Listen, okay, let me let, better now. Let, me, let me just clarify. Listen, if they on my page, they're here for my party. Right. I, right? This is my page. Now, if they on your page, I'm not going to come like, yo, ho, oh, hey, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was one time, right? It was a female rapper. K God is left a comment on my page. Ooh, luck. She flirting with a nigga. I'm flirting back. We doing it. Then a female rapper going to write something to her in my comments. So I wrote back to her, bitch, mind your business. So I wrote, <laughs> I, wrote some, I wrote something disrespectful. So then she texts me like, hold oh, up. I said, my nigga, anything on my page is mine. This is my ball court. This is my crib. Right. This is my, this, we're here to celebrate Lady Luck. You leave a white comment, I'm blocking you. Now, if the right. bitch came to your page, I can't say nothing. Nope. She's like, I, I knew her for years. Exactly. But she was right. not on your page when you said it. So anything that's here, I got 200 whatever thousand followers. Anybody leave a comment, they mind for that comment. If they come on your page, that's your business. They can't look for it. Thank you, my nigga. See, I fuck Thank you for clearing that up. Word Thank up. you for clearing that up because I definitely was a little bit confused, but thank you. No, me? Me? No. No, she knows she knows it's for her. Oh, like what did I do? I'm saying thank you for clearing it up, baby. <laughs> she knows for her. Now, a North Korean bootlegger was sentenced to the death penalty for Dang. smuggling squid games into the country. Because
Squid Games is about South Korea. North Korea didn't want no parts of it. They said if they catch anybody, uh, you know, watching Squid Games or, you know, uh, oh, that shit. they were going to persecute at the highest level. So this Tommy guy was selling uh, zip drives with the, the, the series Squid Games oh, on it. Shit. And these college students got caught with it. And they... They snitched him out. So they did oh, get a, they got shit. a lesser sentence, but this guy has been sentenced to death. Oh, death. Shit. Death. Death. To death. Death, niggas. What a death. 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 That shit is death, nigga. That's what happens when you a hard, when you got a hard head, then we remove the head. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you got to follow the fucking rules. You're not the boss. You don't run shit. If you want the rules to change, then you get in position to work. change the, the rules. Until then, you're going to follow the rules and we're going to lay you down. That's just how it go. Respect That's to the guy who, who, who pressed that button. Like, what? Home <laughs> oh, listen. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I'm tired of you mother. Oh, bunny. bunny, bunny I'm tired of it. What, what country is this, Miss Lissa? It was in North Korea. Korea. No, no, no. no play. That's how you keep shit in order. That's how you keep people in line. You gotta so, make example out of people. So, you bunny, think it's a game. It don't matter. Oh, people think, oh, it's just a movie. If that's not the point. The Let principle is, I told you not to do it. I don't it was my money. What it was, bunny. My money. Somebody bootlegged the Babs Bunny mixtape, and they. Get <laughs> Yes. How would you feel? Kill oh, my guy. If I'm gonna tell you this, if they told your ass that you couldn't have it, and then that means you love me to death, baby. You love me. Literally, it's literally, you love me to death. Literally, literally, literally. Yo, yes. How do you feel about this, sir? Do you feel like this is just oh. due? Or do you feel like Yo. they're doing too much? Nero, you find as a mother. Fuck, I'm telling you, if I was into what you, you know what I mean? Nigga. <laughs> if I wasn't married, I'd change you. Never. Huh. They all tried, didn't they? <laughs> I, 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 I ain't Hello. all. I ain't all. What's happening here? We were talking about the oh, There's a love connection. <laughs> well, speaking um, of what he just I, said, I, NBA this, Young Boy. I'm the only nigga here. It's, no, NBA <laughs> Young Boy said if he was single and didn't have a family, he would want to marry Doja Cat. So he kind of said something similar. He said, baby, if I have this family, I would be on Doja Cat's body. I'm about Do you to feel call. like he was wrong for making that statement publicly? I got a oh, disappointment in an hour. I'm canceling she, that. I can't she, go get She no. a baddie. She a baddie. Now, Doja Cat is single. I don't know, but she, uh, she doesn't say she's in a relationship. I feel that it only matters if um, NBA young boy girl feel away. Obviously, she like Doja Cat, too. She like, yeah, baby, like, uh, whatever, because he said it. That's why I give a fuck. What's, what does bitch say? Yeah. What's she saying when he posted Well, that? I, I would like to say this. He must understand his woman to say that publicly. See what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, he don't care. Oh, he don't care. Oh, he don't care. Yeah. Oh, he don't care. Both of those, but you know what I mean? he cared because so, he said if I wasn't exactly. with him, this is what mm, I would like do. That. See, obviously he can't. Yo, these girls are so crazy. You could say something like that and it still cause an argument. I got an argument with a girl who fucked the security though. Yo, I I I got an argument. The girl fucked my sleep up, woke me up, and it got mad. I went to sleep early the next day. This girl <laughs> Yo, I told her, yo, 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 I told her I, I, I was yo, drunk. Everybody know love is drink. This is my yo. birthday. Right? So yo, she me up. I couldn't sleep all night. I said, yo, nigga, you fucked my sleep up. I'm probably gonna go to bed early tomorrow because the way my the way my 40-year-old schedule is set up, like if I take a nap, I'm up all day. So now I'm gonna go to bed early. And then the bitch text me, what the fuck? You ain't texting me back, bitch. You nigga, I'm tired. <laughs> 40. <laughs> we I'm tired. You night. now you mad that I'm sleep early because you woke me up early. Yo, I'm telling you, this shit's crazy. I'm telling you. Quarantine is fucking everybody up. COVID fucking everybody up. I don't want to be in a relationship. I just want to stay home and just do the big and egg and cheese show. I'm telling you, because and my little fucked up, uh, 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 and my little, uh, I got to get back to my relationship freestyles, because it's crazy out here. Let me say this. Anybody that I deal with, I need y'all to understand. Not y'all, like I deal with most people, but, you know, I need you. And anybody, and I put it on the table. If, if Jill Scott come my way, 
I might, I might offer you. You know what I'm saying? If Jill, Where if you Jill into Jill Scott? Scott? If Jill Scott be like, a lot of get women. rid of her. If Jill Scott say get rid of her, it might be good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a time out. I just I realized that Miss Lissa changes her background every show, because this no, is every the same week background as the last show. So shout out Miss Lissa every week. Christmas. You know we going for a Christmas aesthetic. So you Thank didn't say you. that. I'm trying to cut off my plug with Jill. You no, see how man. you be hating talking no, about man. my background? I'm talking about Jill Scott. No, I mean, okay? she tried, she, so she tried to speak that to you. Jilly from Philly. She trying to put that in the air. You know what else has been put in the air? <laughs> Speaking of cold blooded, life is definitely doing a disservice to the gorilla glue girl. So she can't seem to catch a break unless her hair is being broken. So recently she shared that first, you know, her gorilla glue, uh, the issue where she didn't have any more gel. So she used gorilla glue and her hair didn't move. Now her hair won't stop falling out. Let's take a look. Oh, she's done. She's done. Hey, y'all. So I decided that I was going to start wearing my real hair. So when I looked at it, you know, I had a gray hair here, a gray hair there. So me thinking that my hair is strong enough to take chemicals. Yeah. Dude, no. <laughs> I put the dye on, jumped in the shower, rinsing it out. And as I'm rinsing it out, dude, my hair. My hair is steady coming out as I'm rinsing my hair out. My hair don't move. Now it's moving, baby. <laughs> my hair making it rain. It's, it's just falling. Look, it falls out in clumps. I'm sorry, she doing this shit on purpose. This shit is ridiculous. I, I, I believe that, too. I believe that. Well, I'm chasing that at its finest. Yep, I'm sick yep. of it. Or, baby, yep. this is disgusting. What is yep. wrong with people? First, you do this shit, dumb shit. And now you put in shit. Oh, I thought my hair could take chemicals. <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch, everybody know if you leave a perm in your hair for too long, your shit gonna start falling out. This is not, they don't take no rocket what? scientists. So you nope. see how straight that shit is? That bitch left that perm in for an hour. You dumb bitch. <laughs> put that shit on purpose. Like you, you black, you know better. Yeah. Oh my God, her hair's falling out. Oh um, yeah, bitch, you put a perm in your hair for a fucking hour, your hair gonna fall out too. Up. And that's because she is so ratchet, bad. And now we're gonna have an installment because Bunny said that she loves this game. So I didn't made up some new questions because Bunny loves ratchet feud. And we was gonna play with today's guest. We don't know what happened. Maybe he stuck in Nero Pandora's is box. Zero is to get out the video music box. Yo, yo, Nero is today's guest, and we're gonna. No, no, I was just about to say that. Yo, I was and then God said Nero. My I'm telling them I got in a car accident and I'm canceling the shit. You know why? Birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey. They ask me what I do and who I do it for. Yeah. Yeah. All I want for my birthday is a big booty. All I want for my birthday is a big booty. She got a big booty, so I call her big booty. Big booty, so I call her big booty. Where's Mova Cook getting to? I'm sorry, Miss Lisa Black. Sorry, I was ready, baby. It's your birthday, oh, too. In the kitchen, man, they cams everywhere. She made them do it. I got cams everywhere. All right, let's go. All right. So, sir. If you are new to bacon, egg, and cheese, we love playing games, and we're not talking about in relationships, baby. So this game is called Ratchet Feud. It's just like Family Feud, uh, the lightning round at the end, where we're going to ask five questions. But in this case, we serve it. I see her. There she go. Okay, she's back. So we'll let we'll go with Lady. We'll do Lady Luck first. Pause because it's her birthday. Do Lady and then Luck first. We'll and... Again, there are no wrong answers. We're just having a lot of fun. You can feel free to drop some answers in the comments. Ready? All right. 
Right, sorry. Right. Lady Luck, we <laughs> surveyed 100 ratchet folks. We need you to give us a top answer. How much would a pack of Newports have to cost before ratchet people stop smoking them? $20. <laughs> Name a food ratchet kids can cook for themselves. Oodles and noodles. Ramen. How can you tell a man is from the Bronx? Ew. That's Harlem. Wait, Name wait, that's Harlem. Wait, 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 wait. Take that back. Let me take that back. That's Harlem. Uh, from the Bronx? No, that's you heavy. can't take nothing back. She said, you can't. That's, that's true, but I was just trying to let her go because it was her birthday, but she's right. She's right. Okay. Name a reason to change your barber. <laughs> Fucked up my hairline. What would, would you be shocked to come home and see your baby daddy wearing? My shit. <laughs> okay, okay, now let's go but to these do, answers. Because I dress like him. Can I do the last one? <laughs> <laughs> well, your baby mama. Cheetah. No, cause my, if I my baby daddy, I'm like, wait a minute, we wear the same clothes. Can I can I change it? With my baby mama. It, yeah, your baby mama. If I come home, I, I what's the question? Come on. No, nope, no, nope, we're moving on. We're Fine. moving on. You we're moving quit. on. We're gonna go to our guest. You cannot duplicate any of Lady Luck's answers. Are you ready, sir? You heard the answer, so you already know, Lady Luck. Yeah. If you hear him duplicating your answer, you hit him with the eh eh. Okay, I, I do the eh eh. I'm Thank the you, Bunny. You such a good 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 player. Exactly. I and then you're. And then the next is gonna have Bunny go, and then who? And then we'll have Bunny answer I her question. Remember the whack ass answers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> How much would a pack of Newports have to cost before a ratchet person stops smoking them? They won't stop. Name a food ratchet kids can cook for themselves. Scramble eggs. How can you tell a man is from the Bronx? His nails dirty. <laughs> Name a reason to change your barber. He, he, he cheated on me. What would you be shocked to come home and see <laughs> your baby daddy, wear, baby mama wearing? The barber. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's go into our top <laughs> answer. That was a good one. How much would a pack of Newports have to cost before a ratchet person stops smoking them? Fifty dollars, but they're not gonna smoke is actually the number one answer. Name a food ratchet kids can cook for themselves. The top answer was oodles and noodles. The number two answer was cereal. How can you tell a man is from the Bronx? Bing bong. <laughs> What? <laughs> name a reason. Say you bing, know bong. Like, bing bong. They bing bong is the sound the train makes. But everybody saying bing bong and it originated in the Bronx. You said yeah, but it's bing I got some food in there. Name a reason to change your barber. You said he cheated. The answer was he died. You never change your barber. <laughs> Why would? What would you be shocked to come home and see your baby daddy wearing? The top answer was a work uniform. Ten and ten and ten 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 and oh, buddy, man. are you ready? Let's get it. Let's Are go. You ready? We serve it 100 ratchet folks. We need you to give us a top answer. If your sneaky link lost the condoms, name something you would use for protection. Nothing. Name a place that only a the name a place that has that only has a doorman in the hood. Crack spot. <laughs> what <laughs> what does it mean when someone asks, "You good?" Anything. How many baby daddies or baby mothers is too many? Never too many. <laughs> Name something you roll. A blunt. Weed. A blunt. Weed. Roll weed. Ten, ten, ten. Now we're going to pass it. Who would you like to, to um do the answers after you? Would you like it to be our guest or Lady Luck? Nah, fuck that. I'm challenging both of them. They're a team. I don't know. Okay, I don't okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cohesive, cohesively answer these questions. If your sneaky link lost the condom, name something you would use for protection. Saran Red Rap. Reynolds Rat. Yup. See, that's why we're a team. Reynolds Rat. Name a place that only has a doorman in the hood. Jail. Right. The wick, the wick office. <laughs> they do open that door for you. <laughs> Name a. What does it mean when someone asks you good? Everything. In my bucket. In my bucket. Or they want to fight. What does? Well, how many baby daddies or baby mamas is too many? What you say, partner? I say four. I, I four. Say okay. Name I say four. something you roll. 
a tootsie no. roll. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's go through the answers. If you're so sneaking with one of them, I was just joking. Up on niggas. <laughs> bang bang. Bing bong. Bang, bang. bang bong. If your sneaky link lost a condom, name something you would use for protection. The number one answer was prayer. So let that yes, nothing. that you're right. Nothing. Prayer. Bang, bang. Bang. That, that name is. a place that only has a doorman in the hood. Ah. The liquor store. Don't they open the door for you? Be like, what are you? What are you they, here for? Chinese restaurant too. They try yeah, to put yeah. the front Yes, Chinese that restaurant. too. Yes, that's actually got the number the, one answer. Got the what does it glass? mean when someone asks, you good? It means you're not good. You need to, it's a problem of some sort. Mm. How many baby daddies is too many? The top answer was five. Mm. Name some role. I think the number one answer was we. The number two answer was yo eyes. Don't we roll our eyes now? Mm, yeah, that's true. I have one more round. Do y'all want to go for the next round? Do y'all want to save it. this for another time? Hey, man. Nah, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. I was just about to call my dentist and, and cancel it. We got to go. You heard what the first lady of the streets, Babs Bunny, said. We want to make sure that no, no. everyone is subscribed to the shit. Bacon, Egg, and Cheese channel. It's my birthday today. That's what y'all told me. Shout out to our guests. Make sure you are subscribed to Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. Shout out to our YouTube. Show love to Queen of the Ring. As you're doing such, you can definitely bring up Mr. McDaniels. And don't forget to hit the link in Lucky's bio and give her some love no, for her birthday. Yeah. Buy some CBD. Get you some Lucky Crowns. Don't forget to check out Lucky Sounds and hit the link in my bio to go to MissListenNose.com. Yeah.